Good afternoon, this is a second take, obviously the first one is going to be discarded, somebody just tried to call me and interrupted our show. Now my name is Prosper Tarovinga and as uh, you would know right now, I help coaches and consultants to actually package, brand and market their services so that they have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I simply teach a four step uh, process that is used to generate um, leads and also convert clients that is predictable and um, it's too down to the dollar and with demand. Now I have a question for you. How many times have you ever asked yourself the question, how do I get more customers? Okay. And how many times have you found something that actually works? All right. Because most of the time as we are going on and on with this whole online space, I know that the goal for every digital marketer like yourself right now, Steven or Shannon or uh, Nuris or whoever is tuning in right now, the goal for every digital marketer and every um, you know business owner that's operating in the online space is to basically get more clients and also get more customers and generate a lot more revenue for themselves, right? So your goal is basically to grow your business and I assume that that's the reason why you're gonna be sitting here for the next 30 minutes so that you too can learn how to market, scale, and grow your business so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I see Tanya just tuned in there. Thank you so much, my love. I'm really uh, appreciating the love and the support. Thank Thank you so much. All right. Okay. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when we are growing our businesses or when we are trying to figure out how to achieve the actual goal of, um, you know, uh, marketing ourselves, these three things that you really, really need to figure out. Okay. I see Tanya is excited to watch me live today. Thank you. It's, it's going to be amazing. The first one didn't work out. Um, I hope this one we're going to pull through. Salgado, thank you so much, man. Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. And Simran, thank you so much for tuning in again. Right, I'm going to teach you something that, that might sound very complicated, but it's very simple. It's called the VCP model, okay? So this VCP is visibility. How are people seeing you? How are people consuming your content? All right? The C is the credibility. Do people trust what you're telling them? Do people trust that you're going to be there tomorrow? And the P is profitability. All right. Are you profitable? Are you going to be there tomorrow? Are you going to be um, sustainable for yourself, for the people around you? Are you also going to be delivering on your promise? All right. So visibility, credibility and profitability. How many of those words are you using in your day-to-day -day business? All right? I need you to be honest with yourself. Are you visible enough? Do people trust you? Are you profitable? All right? So most of the times we might have a website. We might have a business. We might have an app or we might have a Facebook page. All right? But are we visible enough? Are we reaching and delivering our message to the right kind of people with the right kind of pain that need to hear about our story or hear about what uh, what solutions we're offering to them. All right. Uh, Tanya says, great tips, great questions. Thank you so much. All right. So are you visible enough? Do people know who you are? Can they literally just wake up and Google your name? Are you credible enough that when they have found you, can they trust what you've got to say? Are, are you profitable enough to then sustain you being seen throughout? Because people are tired of one-click wonders. People are tired of people that are not going to be there tomorrow. And that's the reason why people are not sharing your stuff. Because if you, if you show up today, what credibility do you have? If you just show up today, what trust have you instilled in the people that you're going to be there tomorrow and they can trust you with their hard earned cash so that you can run their business or you can help them with whatever service that you are offering. All right. So I really want us to look into these things and figure out if we are actually doing enough. 
If we are actually doing the right things, that will then warrant people to want to pay us their hard-earned money. All right? Because if you're not going to show up tomorrow, how am I going to share your stuff? I will be embarrassed because people will start asking me, where is that person? Where is that person? All right? So you really, really need to increase the relationships that you have so that your business works out in perpetuity. Okay, so, you know, you might ask yourself, how is this all important? Why are relationships being mentioned? Because the relationships that you have with your customers, the relationships that you have with the partners, the relationships that you have with other industry officials will guarantee your success in business. Are you fostering those relationships? Are you increasing that visibility through working with other people or being seen in their, you know, audiences or you providing enough value for you to be credible all right so this might be something that because we are all on social media it does not mean that we are we are socializing just because you are not, you're on facebook it doesn't mean that you can facebook all right behind the screen behind every tweet behind every status update there's a human being like you and me a human being like me that has a birthday tomorrow, a human being like you that has family, a human being like you that has been working hard to build that business. What are you doing to increase that visibility to that person who just saw you for the first time? How are you instilling the credibility that would then give people trust in order to deal with your business? Now, Robert says very true. Social media is what you put into it. Exactly. What you put into it is exactly what comes out. People buy from people and people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. All right. What are you doing to be visible? How are you creating that credibility? And what are you doing to remain profitable? Because if you're not going to be there tomorrow, it's only a matter of you didn't make enough money. Eight times out of 10 startups don't go further than the fifth year because they haven't been seen enough. They, nobody trusted their word. All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to be visible, how to instill that trust and credibility and also create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right, and it starts with relationships. Who you know, what you know, and your relationship with your true yourself is what then makes you stand out in a whole sea of people that are trying to get um, your, your, your clients there. All right, Tanya says social media is just you and your value you bring amplified. Exactly. People are paid in direct accordance to the value they're bringing into the marketplace. Now, if you're going to be sticking around and saying, hey, pay me or give me a credit card for this course or this, um, you know, uh, new shiny object, what value have you given in exchange, right, for that person's credit card? What relationships have you done? So there's a lot of relationship marketing that needs to be done beforehand. And Rebecca, thank you so much for tuning in. How are you doing, my love? Thank you so much. So relationship marketing or just building these relationships, it, it involves building really deep networks that are rooted um, maybe between the bond and connections that you create over time with people. So that's the reason why this is not just going to be a one-click wonder type thing. You have to be immersed in connecting with the people. You have to actually foster these relationships in order for people to know you, talk about you so that they can pass on your message to the people that might need your services. Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So what are you doing to foster these um, lasting relationships? All right. You know, among the most connections that we might think, we might just think that, oh, we need to be, um, you know, connected to just our, um, you know, our, our, our customers. But your customers also have friends. Your customers also have families and et cetera, et cetera. All right. So at the end of the day, what are you doing to be visible? What are you doing to be credible? And what are you doing to be profitable? All right. Amongst all these connections that we might have, how many people would you actually call and say, hey, have you got clients for me? Have you created those relationships within your business? Are there people that can rely on you to be there tomorrow, right now? Are there people that can count on you to help them with their business three years from today? Are you creating that 
you know, trust and are you creating that hope that people can still be with you and, and, and hang around your work, your business, etc. And Amy says, I'm taping into, into their Facebook lives. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, I hope to be seeing you around. Now, um, Tanya says, Prosper, what you're saying is uh, spot on. How you show up in the real world is amplified on social media. Very, very well. Rebecca says, it's much more efficient to sell to current past clients than to acquire new ones. That's absolutely right, because it's much more expensive to sell to the people, um, you know, to, to sell to people that already know, like, and trust you than it is to sell to people that, um, you know, don't know a thing about you. You know, so at the end of the day, are you doing your best right now to be visible to those that already know you to instill that trust that you're going to be there tomorrow? Right. Do you have those referral sources that are going to be giving you customers so that you can, um, you know, expand on your business or you can also help them solve whatever issues they might be having? All right. So these relationships, they just don't show up, guys. They just don't show up already fully dressed and ready to go. You got to foster them. All right. Are you connecting enough? Are you visible enough for people to take you serious enough for them to want to pay you money so you can be credible? So that's a new VCP model that I'm going to be fostering and pushing, guys. All right. So these relationships, as they grow, you know, they're all fed by mutual trust shared benefits and then you know they 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 now amplify you to become one person that people can actually really do business with you want to be visible and the visibility has to be credible and once you're credible you become profitable vcp right so any successful relationships whether personal or whether business relationships it's it's very unique you know what I mean? It's two people that are coming together and that relationship evolves over time. What are you doing to nurture that even with your clients, even with those that are referring business to you? Right. It might start up as people that you don't know. What I do every single day is I reach out to at least 10 new people that have been suggested to me by Facebook to connect. You never know who you're going to meet. Every single day that would maybe be impacted by your message, maybe be impacted by your products or just run about really like you and they want to do, um, you know, work with you. All right. So you then foster that and then you create that trust and then you you now get committed to those people because now you've got to deliver for you to build that credibility with them. And once you build that credibility, profitability comes in. A lot of people just go in and they're looking for the money, but you can't have money when you're not in direct relationship or you're not giving any value to people that would appreciate it. You've got to nurture those relationships, even with your kids, even with the, your family members. You have to show up to their barbecue. You have to show up for Christmas dinner. What are you doing to show up for your customers so that they can trust that you will be there tomorrow? You know? So the first phase of actually really growing a relationship is by being visible. All right. Out of sight, out of mind. If you're not in front of your customers, if you're not showing them value, if you're not there for them, they're not going to remember you. You and the other individual have to become aware of each other. You have to become aware of the synergies that you can offer to each other because every single person has something to bring to the table. You have to see if you can amplify that or if you can actually exploit that. All right. So once you're aware of each other, I mean, obviously in business terms, you can't just put people in a sack and then bring them across to your house or something like that. But that's a potential source of your the future of your business the customers the referrals once people start knowing what you do because the reason why a lot of entrepreneurs are failing in business is because nobody knows what they do nobody knows what they do they are not visible enough right now if you're watching this video i want you to type in just type in your job description what is it that you do your job title sorry what is it that you do what do you do just type in your job title I know Rebecca um, and Tanya and Ian and Amy 
and uh, DT. If you're still watching, just let me know. Just type in, um, in, in, in the comments there what it is that you actually do. Now, Amy says, if you chase the dollar, you will never fulfill your true potential. That is absolutely amazing. You're right. And Rebecca says she's a conflict resolution coach and mediator. Tanya unlocks business genius in entrepreneurs. That's amazing. Christine, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So once you are visible and people start seeing or knowing what it is that you help them with or what solutions you're providing or how, you know, your presence is going to change their whole, you know, life. At least people will ring you for a reason. People will start ringing you for a purpose. All right. And, um, you know, people would, 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 even PR, even publicity, journalists would want to know what it is that you can do if they know exactly how you solve people's problems. Robert uh, says, I facilitate friendships on being social media at this point. Exactly. I know you run a multinational, um, what do you call it? A multinational hangout and I've been on it. It's very interesting that people from Japan, people from all over the place, that's a very good skill that you have there, Robert. Jamie is a daddy, coach, teacher, the list goes on. But what do you associate yourself to be? All right? Because people, if people know what you are to them, because everyone else is something to somebody. I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm a uncle, I'm a... Ah. Oh. Peter, it's not your fault. I absolutely do not like MLM and you just sucked away my energy right now. So sorry, but... Ugh. Anyway, all right. So when people start knowing what it is that you do, um, you know, you just... You, you become acquainted to them. Um, on a first name basis, you, you start knowing a little bit... Um, about what they do, how they can help you. That visibility in its own puts you in that little space where you are needed. All right? You are needed. Once you are needed, somebody would know why they should ring you. And that's where the credibility comes in because you're constantly there for them when they need you. It's a matter of just being needed for a particular reason, for a particular purpose. All right? Now, this visibility stage is very, very important because it then creates that, you know, that recognition. The fact that you know me and I know you or you know you can come around here at 2 p.m. and we can hang out and, 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 you know, talk about business and how we can all be profitable and enjoy our lives. The greater the visibility, the greater the impact, the greater the credibility, the greater the profit that comes after after that. So work on that. There's a lot of things that you can do, um, especially when it comes to be seen online. Make sure your 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 profile picture is representing you, who you who you who you who you are, representing um, you know speaking the message that you want to deliver to people um, that would understand you. As your message is actually reaching the qualified prospects and you're putting your message in the right context and you're also having enough space at the end of it to give people a call to action all right and uh prosper says you're talking about egoic labels because sometimes what we call ourselves is not always what others call us all right no i just wanted people to just say what it is that they do so i would know how to address them all right so this is what I'm saying now. Um, Amy facilitates moms with tools to build businesses, grow kids without losing their shit. Balanced baby. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I know I know a lot of people that could uh, benefit a lot from, from what you do there, Amy. I'll be in touch. All right. So when your message is now being delivered to a market, it's reaching all those qualified prospects um, it puts your message in the right context. It gives you enough space to actually have and shine and be seen. And once you're seen, it instills all that credibility. You now grow and people now trust you. And they exchange that with, um, with their credit card. And once they do that with their credit card, what then happens? You become profitable. 
All right. So that's the reason why everybody else jumps onto the profit parts of this whole concept, the whole VCP model. All right. You don't, you're never going to get to the profit if you don't have the right relationships. You don't have the right value. You don't have the right people. All right. That trust you enough to want to do any business with you or to any, do any transactions with you. In those transactions, that's where the profit comes. So if you find yourself chasing the money, if you find yourself running after the dollar, then you need a lot of work behind the scenes and that's why your shit ain't working. All right? So right now, where you are in your business, are you being seen enough? That's the visibility. Are you being exposed enough to the right kind of people with the right kind of, um, you know, with the right kind of pain that actually need your service so that you can give them the call to action to call you? All right. Everybody runs a mock wanting to get the last dollar. But I, have people seen you enough? Have they seen enough of you to want to, you know, give their hard and cash so that you can get a profit? All right. Credibility is simple, guys. This showing up every single day at 2 p.m. It, it, it puts a lot of credibility. You know why? Because everybody, no matter where they are in the world, they know that they can just tune in and they will sit here for 30 minutes with me without fail. You need to find something that people can can harbor within themselves and hold so that they know that you will be there when they need you. The only reason your phone will ring is because somebody needs something from you. What would they need? What have you shown them that they need? Jamie says, I want to give them value before I get paid to prove my worth. Exactly. Because nobody is going to pay you or nobody is going to want to um, literally just hand over their money to you just because you've got a Facebook ad. How many other people have Facebook ads? How many other people have Facebook ads out there? So you think your Facebook ad is, is, is going to be the, the, the difference. People need to know you. They need to trust you. All right. And they need to like you. If you don't have any of that, then you're not visible enough. And if you don't have any of that, you're not credible. That's why it's called a credit card. You give it to a credible person. It's a credit card, credit card, because you want to give it to somebody who's credible. What have you done to earn that credit card? Are you credible enough? Every single day, wake up, ask yourself, am I worthy of people's credit cards? Because credibility grows, you know, with when your appointments are met, when your promises are acted up on, you know, when the facts are actually verified and you're actually speaking to the real truth. All right. Are you visible enough? Are you credible enough? If you want to be profitable, visibility, credibility, and the profit comes in a bit later. Peter Combi, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. There's that old saying that says that results speak louder than words. And it's very, very true. And it's very, very important. Failure to live up to expectations can actually, you know, you know, explicit and, you know, if you're not living up to your promises, if you're not being truth with yourself. All right. And Amy, you've got to quote me on that. <laughs> all right. So if you're not truthful to yourself, if you're not giving out value, you can kill all those budding relationships. And before before they even break through the ground. I don't know if you've heard of the Chinese bamboo tree. All right. Apparently a Chinese bamboo tree, you need to water it every single day. You need to fertilize it and it won't, the shoot won't even go past the ground for five years. All right. For five years, the Chinese bamboo tree would not emerge above the ground. But it only takes six months for it to grow to two meters long. All right. So stop chasing the proverbial credit card 
when you're not credible. All right? So you never know who's watching you. You never know what impact you're giving on to people. Because these days, it's no longer a matter of look at me, look at me. It's a matter of people saying, look at him, look at him. So what are you doing to get people's fingers to point and say, hey, listen, look at that guy. Look at that girl. All right? Stop killing your profit, which you're going to have at the end in the bud by not being visible and by not being credible. The profit will come. All right? Peter says, I guess I'm free this time of the day to tune in to... <laughs> Thank you so much, man. All right. So to actually determine how credible you are, just people tune in and they really, really want to find out what third parties are saying. So whenever you talk to people, whenever you um, help somebody, get a testimonial from them. All right. When you get a testimonial from them, it now, now just gives them that you know, that edge to say, if somebody else has gone through this program or this course, it must be a really good thing. All right. You want to nurture all those relationships because that's where the referrals come in. That's where, you know, all the, the, the visibility, because if people are not sharing your stuff, who, how else are you going to be seen? If people are not sharing or talking about you at a barbecue or, you know, while they're talking, how else are you going to be visible? All of this takes time. So start running for the money because at the end of the day, you're going to do all of this and realize you haven't done the work that's needed. All right. Visibility and credibility are important in relationship building stages of any marketing process or any you know, business process or even personal relationships. All right. If you're not seen on one of those um, programs where people swipe right, how are they going to know you even exist? You have to be visible and then your photo has to be credible. But when you've established all of these, you know, you now have an effective referral and client generation uh, sort of system that works on its own. People now know you, they now trust you, and they now want to do business with you. You now enter into the profitability stage of the business. Stop trying to rush things that are not ready yet. It takes 21 years to be 21. Make sure you are seen, people trust you, and the money will come. It is very critical to a successful marketing strategy. And it's very critical because if you don't do these things, you're just going to give Mark Zuckerberg a lot of money through the ads because nobody's going to be looking. All right. I really want you to succeed. I really, really want you to earn more money and, and have it with less struggle. All right. So if you want to continue the rest of this uh, conversation, let's type it in in the comments below. And guess what, guys? Tomorrow is my birthday and I want to show you something. Check this out. I'm going to be opening all those presents tomorrow. All right. So be sure to tune in and thank you so much for those people that have um, already sent in their presents. Um, if you haven't and you want to figure out how, just type in um, gift and then I'll let you know how to do it. But guys, don't forget the VCP model. Be visible, be credible, and you will be profitable. This has been Prosper, guys. Thank you so much, and I really, really appreciate your kindness and your support. I will be um, back tomorrow again, but let's continue this conversation in the bottom. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.